Hey, welcome back to How It's Done. Today we're going to be installing a WISE camera floodlight combo. Uh, this is basically what it looks like. We're going to be mounting it in the center of that peak there, just on the bricks. And because there is no box there, I'm going to need a drill and stub a wire through. And since this is something we're going to want to have continuous power to, the game plan is to grab power from the garage door opener outlet and just run it through the ceiling and out there. But first, I'm going to need to get in the attic and see what we're dealing with. So let's get at it. All right, so looking at it, we are going to be able to get through there without much of an issue. Um, there's a piece of wood kind of directly behind where we're going to be drilling, but that's not a big deal. We're not going to be drilling that big of a hole. And then, if you can see right here where the light is pointing is where the outlet is for the garage. So, not that big of a deal. We'll go ahead and get the uh, roto hammer and masonry bit out. We'll get that drilled out and then run the wire. Alright, so I've got my roto hammer, or hammer drill, whatever you want to call it, set to hammer. And got a 5 8 drill bit on it. For drilling the hole that the 14.2 Romex is going to feed through. And then I've also got a quarter inch drill bit that we're going to use to mount the screws for the uh, bracket that's going to hold this light in place. So I'm going to go up there, drill a hole in the center, and then mark where the two holes for the bracket need to be. And we'll show you where it looks like after that. Alright, so it's starting to get dark out, but I've gotten the holes drilled. Ended up having to use a paddle bit to get past the wood back here. Um, and then I just used these two quarter inch to put the little uh, yeah, anchors in there. So what we're going to do with these, just hit them in with the hammer. And then from there, we've just got this guy gonna go sit on that we'll screw that in place and then I'm actually going to use some crimp connectors on this because this light fixture sits pretty flush to the actual brick so I'll use some crimp connectors like like this crimp them on the ends of these and on the ends of the fixture and fold the wires back because the wire nuts are going to be a uh, pretty tight fit and then we'll go on the inside and uh, yeah, we'll get that knocked out. The wire came through there. I've started to feed it back through here. Uh, yeah, this is the part of the, jo of the job you only want to do once. Climbing through the small attic and then backwards. And we're going to end up right around here. Really can't see it all that well because of my headlight. But right here is where the plug is for the garage. Right there. So we're going to feed into that. We're going to take the plug down in the garage, feed the wires through, and then make it together. All right, so we got the plug wired up. Um, I didn't record it because the lights went out doing this um, because we had to turn, shut off the power to the garage. But basically, the black goes together, the whites go together and the bare coppers which are the grounds go together so you do that and now we got light outside so yeah we're gonna adjust the lights make sure that they're aiming in the right locations so that is what it looks like it is done we're gonna go ahead and what is that oh that's how we set it up on the app so floodlight camera high voltage wiring done and it'll run you through an install guide. Turn off the breakers. Got it. Cool. Next. Power's off. Good. Next. We got them all rotated. Done with that. Installing. Done with that. Pretty much everything we just did. So yeah, the app will run you through the installation pretty good as well. Neutral's done, hot's done, 
put the wires back in the J-Box, which we didn't have because we were in brick. Mount the floodlight, put the screw in the middle, and then you put the weatherproof piece in the middle. Turn the power on, got that done. Next. Alright, now we gotta scan the code. So we're gonna go up there with the phone in hand. So good thing we didn't put the ladder away. And we're gonna scan this with the phone. Hopefully. Oh, your phone went off. Oh no it didn't. Wait. Let's see here. Let's see how easy this is to get it to work. Is it working? Does not seem to be picking it up. Hmm. To be continued. Alright, so we got it all figured out. Uh, there's a setup button on top that you have to press in order for it to read the code. But, uh, as you can see there, it's working good. Picking us both up. And the light shines a good little ways in the distance. It actually lights it up really well. So definitely recommend this one.